What's up? Hey. Hi. Hola. What's up? <laughs> this is the tale of two love stories. One that has been writing itself for eight years. He's magnetic. I wanted to be around that energy. She makes everything easier. And another that is still in its first few chapters yeah, after seven months. I definitely love how goofy we are. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but where Courtney Ambrose and Jake Barris's relationship might differ from that of Andy Gibbs and Rachel Altoff's in time. I think we have the trust because we communicate. It does not in maturity. Okay. There's someone who I know is is on my side and yeah yeah that's yeah i definitely feel that way <laughs> during the pandemic people shifted how they looked at relationships according to a recent survey from match.com 74 percent of singles said they were looking for a partner who wants to marry the second year in a row that number was higher than its pre-pandemic level more than half of people in relationships said they were in love with someone they weren't initially attracted to and for the first time things like emotional maturity comfort communicating needs and wants, and trust all ranked above physical attractiveness in qualities people looked for in a partner. I think once we were shifted into a space where we had to decide who was in our circle, who was safe to hang out with, it sort of forces you to evaluate who am I willing to take these risks for. Eric French is a psychiatrist and medical director who knows a lot about human connection. He says it's not surprising this happened during the pandemic. When we are forced to spend time with ourselves, he says maturation is inevitable. The pandemic was a trauma, right? We fear pain and, and, and adversity, but we need to disconnect from that concept and understand that anytime adversity gets high, we're about to learn something and grow. It happened with Andy and Rachel, an experienced couple, and it happened with Courtney and Jake, a newer one. I also think it maybe taught us how to read each other better. I'm sure we had some fights along the way, but like we came out of it and it, if we can do that, I truly believe that there's not much we can't get through. Yeah, I always feel supported. Like I just... I don't know. I know you have my back. So it's pretty yeah. much the same thing. Love okay. is ethereal. It's hard to pinpoint, but when you know, you know. And for a couple, no matter how long they've been together, that's something you can't just write off. I just have never felt so on the same page, on the same in the same mm -hmm. wavelength. I'm Dan Grossman.